Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another episode of the Banner Saga with me, Notorious BLT. So, I want to I wanna mention something. I think I may have made a gigantic mistake earlier. Um, given some of the responses that people have had in the, uh, uh, in the comments, and also... Did I already buy supplies? Well, right now I guess three. Uh... Never deflected. That's incredible, but I can't afford it. Uh, plus three will. Holy shit! God damn. Um, so, I realized that our daughter was basically trying to tell us, y "You done made a mistake by bringing in." Uh, I think it was Onif. Wait, wait, is it Onif? What, what, what the heck is his name? Instead of Eckel. Yeah, Onif is, um, I, I think he's going to stab us in the back. What do I have to support that? Uh, basically nothing. <laughs> um, what does it cost to promote you? 15? I cannot afford that. Anybody else? You? I still don't really know, like, I kind of wish there was a thing that would show you exactly how the lightning works. Because it's, what is it? It art goes diagonally, right? And this is the Mendy thing. All right. And the further out you are, the more damage it does. So I'm going to have to try that. It, I don't... Well, hang on. Let's see. Pulse fire from the sky uh, onto an enemy within range of six. Okay, so it is somebody that you choose. Whoops. Didn't it actually show that there was like... This unit has points available to spend on improving its... Son of a bitch. <laughs> God damn it. All right. Well, we certainly want you to have more will. <clears throat> God damn. More willpower. Um, three, one, two. Yeah. Let's get you as much armor, etc., as we can. And th this should be good, I think. Um, obviously, we'll increase it more later. You, wait, what rank are you? Five? What rank is... It? Oh, Jesus Christ. Why did I not use your lightning? Your lightning is so good. I definitely should have been using your lightning. What is wrong with me that I did not use it? What is this? 15 dodge strength. Right now you have... Oh, right. You have the break thing because Ivor is uh, borked to hell and back. Um, so, yeah, I think I may have made a mistake because, like, a lot of people were saying, ah, you're going to meet one jerk ass and one person that's really nice. And, you know that people are not always what they seem and I was just going on face value not really remembering a lot of the stuff that the uh, why is this flashy what do you want you're trying to tell me that the world is destroyed and that it's full of dredge aka slag aka armored elemental zombie people what what are you trying to tell me here why you flash why you flash Let's see, Einertoft, the home of the first Varl king, Einer, who carved his empire into the, uh, the, into the crook of the Bretabrek and Wormscale Mountains. The Varl fortress, hewn into the rock itself, eclipses all but the larger accomplishments in the north. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, well, let's go talk to Menderman. Who, wait, you were also injured, were you not? Yeah, you are injured for two days. Poop. At least that, that only affects your strength, right? Alette, that's her name. How, why is it that I keep forgetting your name? You're actually one of my favorite characters, honestly. Can you save? Yes, probably. Give me silence. Nearly three hours pass silently as, I, uh, yes, as Ivan uh, plies his trade. Flesh slowly forms and closes across Ivor's torn frame. That is as much as I can do. He should make it. Thank you. The mender looks exhausted, leaning heavily against the bed. When was the last time you slept? A couple days ago? I'm okay, just need to sit. Before you can catch him, the mender crumple, uh, crumbles to the floor. Weary the weight of the sun. It's all... Sounds very bad. That... Ah! It's the eel! Eximic. 
Uh, excuse me? Your sight swims as if underwater. Memories fly away like startled ravens before you can capture them. With great effort, you remember who you are, Juno. You also realize that a monumental serpent is speaking to you now. Your last certainty... Your last... Yes, your last certainty was that you died some time ago, and that is uh, that it is about to happen again. Excuse me? It, it spits lasers. Okay. Frustrating. You are slow to understand the serpent. It speaks in a language that recalls very ancient memories of, uh, of words you learned long ago. If you are not going to die, I suppose we must speak instead. Who are you? My name is Juno? You are a Juno. It means nothing to me. Maybe I have asked the wrong question. What are you? What is your purpose? Uh, first tell me what you are. Do you ask the hammer what the blacksmith is making? That's an interesting way to put it. This conversation becomes more meaningless by the word. What do your prophecies say? The gods gave you prophecy, fate, destiny. Is there no child coming to slay me with a magic sword? Are there no stars in the sky foretelling this disaster? Do you truly not know? I will know if you tell me. Must the prophecy speak of itself then? So be it. Listen carefully now, for I will give you a prophecy. I am the end, do you understand? This world and this tapestry I would devour. It is my purpose, but I cannot. Instead, now comes a wall of night to consume your pitiful world. Wall of night? The, the dredge? Dredge? Stone men marching across a long bridge? No, it is darkness. The egg white, the egg white that has uh, turned black. I am meant to devour the tapestry itself, not idly witness the dusk mother, uh, uh, the dusk smother this rock. I am incomplete. A worm crawling through a dung field. Because of you. Who are you to take my destiny? What are you? Return what is mine. Say what? Ivan. Did you know? You're alive? You're alive? How? Where are you? Wait, where am I? Asleep, I presume, or unconscious. I am in Ridgehorn, I think. A serpent was trying to kill me. Now I'm talking to you. Time is moving strangely. I've lost swaths of memory. But I found you, for a short time at least. The serpent said something about a long bridge. So I took a guess. It came after you. We saw it at Einertoft. Are you okay? It tried to turn me to ash after we spoke. I'd be surprised if that's the last we've seen of it. It could tear the land apart or crush cities if it wanted. What do we do? It gets worse. The prophecy... Uh, a prophecy of the gods th that I've never heard of. There are still prophecies out there? It was vague. Sounded like that serpent was supposed to swallow the world. Instead, some kind of darkness or nothingness is seeping from the north. It devours whatever it touches. That would explain why the dredge are swarming on us uh, like someone kicked an anthill. Ivan, are you in danger? You could say so. Bellower is here. The Varl are holding him off, but not for much longer. Uh, not for much longer, I think. Of all the Sunder, why the immortal, uh, the immortal one? Bellower, that was the worst of luck. I would have you come to me, but... We will have to do this the hard way. Listen closely. I will return to Strand and find passage down the Red River. You must leave Einertoft and meet me in uh, Sigurholm. Juno, we'll never make it to Sigurholm. Bellower is about to overtake us. The Varl won't listen to a thing I... Find a way. Do whatever it takes. 
I will not be able to contact you again before uh, Sigurholm. Go. And Ivan. Yes? I love you. The fuck? So, maybe the gods aren't dead? Because the, the, the worm said that, you know, why would you ask the hammer what the blacksmith is making? That makes me think that the worm is basically like a... Or maybe he's, he's a tool of the prophecy? I don't know. You spent a lot of time next to him since he passed out. Just keeping an eye on him. It's not like that, Dad. You, he saved Ivor. He might save the rest of us. Can he hear us? He just moved. How long was I... You were out for a couple of days. How do you feel? Juno, she's alive. I need uh, I need to meet her at Sigur... Ugh, Hold on, slow down. Who's Juno? She's my mentor on the Mender Council. She contacted me. Contacted you how? She's not like most Menders. W what happened here since I passed out? The Varl are holding the dredge back, but ju uh, just barely. Bellower has disappeared. Ivor is still out of it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Durander sent Hakon, Luden, and a couple hundred Varl away to, uh, to Erbarang. I don't know how long we'll be able to hold out here. Rook, I need your help. Take me to Sigurholm. Juno is going to meet us there. Sigurholm? It's got to be a week away at least. And uh, and just abandon Einertoft? Maybe, or no, I could destroy that godforsaken bridge myself. That would uh, delay the immediate threat, but Durander will never agree to it. I need to understand a few things, Ivan. Give me a second here. I gotta take a drink of water. Oh, delicious. You consider your options. Why won't the Varl King destroy the bridge? Let's see. How would you collapse that bridge by yourself? What do we do about Bellower? What is going on around here? That serpent Bellower? Hmm. What is going on around here? Look, I know things are... It's, it's a long story. How well do you know history? We're from a very small town in the woods. I'll keep it short. <coughs> You know how men and Varl were made? The Loom Mother, the other gods? In the First Great War, the armies of men and Varl hated each other. They fought bitterly for land and dominance. Then one of the gods created the Dredge, and they were such a threat that unless men and Varl set aside their differences, they threatened to wipe out, uh, to wipe out both races. Wait. Okay. So they did. They ended the war, pushed the Dredge in, uh, into the north, and formed an alliance that has held ever since. The Second Great War began generations later. The Dredge rallied their forces, defeated the Varl who watched the borders, and laid waste to the unsuspecting settlements throughout the world. They were led by Sunder, powerful Dredge warlords and weavers, like Bellower. Uh, he was there in the Second Great War. So maybe they're not exactly zombies. I mean, they, they seem kind of zombie-esque in the way that they move, because they're not like... Well, I guess maybe not. I don't know. For some reason, I always viewed them as kind of, like, zombified, but maybe not. Humanity was on the brink of extinction when the inner circle of Menders went forth and finally sent the Sunder and the Dredge uh, deep underground. For the most part, the Dredge haven't tried to turn... Uh, had, had, uh, haven't tried to return since. Well, until now. Those Menders uh, were called Valka. Juno wasn't there herself, but she's from their bloodline. So another great war has begun. If I didn't think the world was ending, it would be incredible. If I didn't, uh, yeah, if I didn't think the world was ending, it would be incredible. Ancient history is playing out before us. What about the serpent? That's another story. I, there's nothing in the Mender's libraries about that thing. I must have some, uh, it must have something to do with the dredge returning. That seems likely. So what I think is happening is this darkness has actually forced the dredge out, and they are attacking us because they're trying to get away from the things. Um... Let's see. Why won't the Varl King destroy the bridge? How would you collapse that bridge? What do you do about the Bellower? Let's see. How would you, why won't he destroy the bridge? I can't completely understand it myself. The last time I mentioned it, he made his mind very clear. He'll let the city and the rest of the world fall before that damn bridge. How would you collapse the bridge yourself? Not by myself. I could blast it apart, but this, uh, this bridge wasn't made to fall. It'll take time and concentration. That's why I need your help. And the Varl will try to stop me. It could mean holding off both the dredge and the Varl. What do we do about Bellower? I can't stop him, but I believe Juno can. That's why we need to go. We could just leave. And let the Varl die to give us a head start? It's not my first choice. I've, I've done everything I can on my own. I need time to think about this. 
I understand. Be quick, Rook. There has to be some way to... I can't believe Navarro would be so stubborn. Speak to Yorinder yourself. He's in the Great Hall. Maybe you'll have more luck. Or maybe he'll put your head on a spike. Rook, I hate to put all this on your shoulders, but I've got... Uh, yeah, I've got few friends here. Come to a decision quickly. Either way, we can't stay. We have to make it to, si uh, to Sigurholm. Juno will know what to do. Well, shit. Wait. Leave, destroy the bridge. Great hall. Hang on. I'm gonna buy as much as I can. Because if it's a if it's a ways away. You'll do as I say. I'm not here to argue. I'm telling you that we're dying by dozens every day now. We sent our best away with Hakon. How uh, how long do you expect us to last? You asked for this command, Fasolt. Don't let them get across that bridge. Fasolt takes his leave just as you approach. Not great timing, you think uh, to yourself. Thank you for the audience. I forget your name. Rook. Rook, how is Yingvar? Will he survive? I think so. If I remember Yingvar well enough, he hasn't told you why he faced down Bellora, did he? No, he keeps things to himself. Yes, that sounds right. Yingvar confronted a Sunder in his youth during the Great Wars. He won that fight. None other uh, but the member yeah. None other but the Menders have done that. He proved us stronger. Maybe he thought to do it again. Ivor killed a Sunder? How did he end up in uh, in Skoger? You'd have to pry that from from him yourself. I don't know. He disappeared when the last king tried uh, to name him Kender. It occurs to you that J uh, Jorinder would not be on the throne now uh, had that happened. Ah. But why are you here, Rook? Be brief. I'm offering to help take apart the bridge. The bridge needs to be destroyed. I'm sorry to waste your time. I should go. I'm offering to help take apart the bridge. Human, if there is one more mention of that bridge, Jorinder's mood changes almost instantly. If you have nothing else to say, get out of my damned hall. We're all at stake here. Oh, you have the answers. Wonderful. Come, sit upon the throne. Every man I've ever met thinks he, uh, he'd rival the gods himself, if only he were in charge. I'm over 400 years old, and I know that I know little. You are a child, an infant, yet you know everything. Listen, human, this story is not about you. If you jumped from that bridge today, the world would not change. Now either help Fasolt retake it, or leave my city. I don't care which. Guards are quick to usher you from the Great Hall. You don't resist. Oh, fuck. Fight on the bridge. Wait, what's this? Shit. Oh, God damn it. Hang on a second. What do we got for heroes again? A bunch of people that are all fucked up. Eggle, Eigel, whatever your name is. I can't uh get too shit with you, huh? Krumer, you were like part Warhawk and part uh Yeah, you can cause people to move again, huh? Am I really thinking about doing this? And Fasolt, you were the taunty man, if I recall correctly. You know, the way I'm kind of, kind of seeing it at the moment, fighting on the bridge right now would give us... What would it give us? What would it give us?
Not much, really, right? Oh, also, I was told that the, uh, the buff, the, uh, where is it? This does actually stack up pretty hard if you sit still. So maybe one of the things to do is bunker around these two and let the dredge come. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to do this. You're going to get the dodge, dude. Then again, you can already be pretty, pretty beefy on your own. Pure to be for. I don't know why I was like saying it's so weird. All right, take that off. Actually, let's give it to one of the archers. You have strength of eight, and it's going to be seven. I can't promote you. Um, get get this out of here. Okay. Oh shit! Your break is like a four now because you're wearing this thing. Is that right? Yeah. Fuck! What the hell am I going to do? If we leave... Shit. Okay. If we leave, it's going to be seen as a, a stab in the back. I think, and if we destroy the bridge, it's also going to be seen sort of as a stab in the back. I, I'm, this may not be a popular decision, but I'm going to fight on the bridge. At the war front, rows of Varl are lined up, waiting for their turn to fill in as the, as the warriors on the bridge battle, as the warriors on the bridge battle dredge um, in one endless churn of bodies and blood. Basalt catches your eye in between giving orders. You lost, human, he says. For to help, I just wanted to see how things were going. Going great, as you can see, sneers Fasolt. Let me know when you want to help out, he says, dismissively, his attention uh, returning to his command. All right, well, offer to help. Fair enough, Fasolt admits. I'm not going to argue against putting you on the bridge, he says, but we've got plenty of wounded here as well if you can work, uh, if you can work a needle. Treat the wounded. You spend a day alongside Aled and many others tending to wounded Varl, of which there are many. The work is hard and bloody, and after a long day, you excuse yourself to wash off and find a place to sleep uh, while the fighting continues unabated. Minus it. Well, fuck. Morale improved, though, so that's something. Um, did anybody rest? Please say somebody rested. Oh, thank God. Okay, so that was basically a way to rest. Okay, um... Fuck. Do we just leave? I wanna... Shit. I wanna shit. No, I don't wanna shit. I want... <sighs> fuck! God damn it! It's, there's no use going to the freak. Wait, did the market stuff change? It did. Why? That's interesting. So it changes like every day. Hmm. Um. Motherfucker. Screw it. Screw it. What's the plan here, you ask with concern. I just uh, do what Yorinder uh, tells me, replies Fasolt. And right now, we're killing every dredge on that bridge. So throw in or piss off. If you don't want to fight, help me clear bodies off the bridge. Our warriors are getting choked up are getting choked up around them. Fight on the bridge. Let's just do it. Fasolt nods and puts you uh, in line with others. Don't be a hero, he grunts. Kill a few and come back alive. A, sl uh, a slow terror starts to creep in from wait... Eh from waiting to go into battle, but eventually you find yourself face to face with rows of dredge packed shoulder to shoulder. This sounds uh, very bad. I gotta say. Onif, 
I'm sorry, buddy, but I'm not. I, well, can I bring you with me? What? What is it? What, what the hell is it that you do? Oh, you do run through and also shield wall, huh? I mean, that sounds useful, but at the same time, I think I'd rather these guys be the ones that are going first. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is gonna suck uh, really bad. Um, ball sacks. Well, here we go. Hooray! <laughs> I'm definitely going to have to try out the lightning. Okay. Morale improved. That's nice. Uh, that's real nice. Three-ish, four-ish, five-ish, six. Okay. So I'm glad you're going, uh, not last last, but like close to last. Let's take a look at what we got here. What, what is you? You do the shield slam? God damn, that's a lot of armor break. So you guys both have the same garbage. Uh, God, you got a lot of... Wow! That's a lot of armor, buddy. Alright, so you just have the sling and that's it. But you also can put some stank on it, yeah? Yeah, you got, you got one stank to throw. You have six, which I hate. So we got two fire slingers. One is more advanced than the other, it seems to me. Okay. Give us a little bit of room to move. So part of this is I also want to have space to make sure that the lightning isn't going to zap a shitload of us. That makes sense. Where's your movement? You can get to like right around here. Who is next? You are. It's gonna break a lot of fucking armor. It's gonna break a lot of armor. This may have been a horrible idea to, to do it the way that I'm doing it right now. Just move up a little bit, okay? I don't want you to move up too far. Don't... Oh, he's going to throw the explosives. Where are they landing? That's uh, really bad, and I hate it. Yep. You're normally at what? Oh, you're at 13 because... Why again? Oh, it gives you armor as well. How did I forget that? Two armor, two strength. <sighs> Shitbags. Yeah, these shatter stones are a real pain in the ass. So right now, you, you would be at 11, which means that this guy could hit you for two, unless you bunker up. And then it's other big guy. One big guy, then the next, huh? Five tile area. Five tile area meaning like one, two, three, four, five, maybe? Wait, it says on the next turn. On your next turn? So basically, uh,. Basalt is going to get hit once. I wish there was a way to destroy these. Is there? Is there? I don't know. I don't know. You know, why don't you move there? And then shield wall, or stone wall, whatever it's called. Hmm. 
One, two, three, four, five. Okay, you guys are too far away for the archers to hit you. Uh, honestly, I'm liking the idea of shooting this dredge. I don't know if this is going to work out in my favor, but we're going to see. This doesn't actually have a good range, so we're just going to pop you one. Or a lot. Okay. Um... One, two, three, four, five. I wish I could see the range on your special ability a little easier. Like, zappy zap. That's weird, it can't come out here, huh? Maybe this is one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, yeah, so diagonally, uh, diagonal counts as two, I guess. Um, so if I were to go, like, here, be like, one, two, three, four, five, six, perhaps? God, I hope I don't end up roasting my own people. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Put some serious stank on it, buddy. gonna go like one two three four. okay so it should just go past these and then zap these guys I don't know if it's is it gonna hit anybody over here I don't know if it's gonna hit any of these guys we'll see let's let's throw it down dude Zorch um excuse me why why you know why did that not zappy zap hey Dude, why why no? Strength damage that arcs to all diagonal units. I why why you know? Why you know? It's very strange. Uh your armor break is two. And how much stank are you able to put upon it? Vessel's gonna get hit kinda hard, I think. Uh Who's next? The regular slinger. I hate these slingers, by the way. But your, does your special ability uh, hurt friends? All units between the archer. Okay, so yes, that will absolutely hurt our friends. Alright. I would like you to shoot him and destroy some of his armor. Yes! Give me the chain reaction, please. Okay, your bullshit is going to go off. Hopefully it's not going to murder everybody. I hate it. Okay, so it did hurt Fassel pretty badly, in fact. Not liking that at all. Uh, your armor is now a 9, huh? You are gonna have a bad time. Who does this belong to? It belongs to one of these slinger jerks, right? You're gonna get to move next-ish. But your strength is a 7. Yours is a 13? Move here. I don't. I don't like it. But, I mean, actually, that seems like an absolutely terrible idea. So you're going to hit him for four. That's a big chunk of his HP. But that is chunking their armor down. Uh, or more than that, which is even worse. Uh, I hate that.
Let's armor him up. Oh, fuck. Nope, fast salt's gonna go down, I think. Because who the hell threw that? Was it you? Yeah, I think I think fat salt's gonna go down. Oh shit. Oh no no, okay, we're good. We're good, we're good. Um, you've lost a bunch of armor, so have you. Jesus. Who is it? This guy, or is that this guy? No, it's gotta be this guy. One, two, three, four, five. Shit. <sighs> Damn. I kind of really like to mess up this guy. Like, really bad. But I also really want to hurt the slingers. But you really gotta go, buddy. Yeah. Fuck. Okay, fast salt's down. That sucks, but could be a lot worse. Um, who's next? That guy is. Okay. And then you, you have a strength of seven. You guys have enough armor to take that. Stop that. Roast him and toast him, buddy. Excellent. Fuck him up real bad. Stank on it. Owie. That's very annoying, and I hate it. Okay, you guys are both kind of messed up. But you are also going to be very annoying. It's not good enough. Why am I not using your special ability? What is wrong with me? No, no. Here. That way, if he wants to come after either of us, he's going to have to hit this. I think. Right? Who's next? You are. Yeah, fire your special ability right there. Stop hitting Rook, you asshole. Ah, oh, shit. Who's next? You are. You have four strength. So if I move you to here, you could at most do one damage to Rook. Put some stank on it. This way the archers can also super mess you up if they need to. Okay. So you did one damage to Rook. It's not that bad. Not that bad. Not that bad. Okay. 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 I could probably kill either of these. Because I can put some stank on it to kill you. Or I could have them shoot you. I think the slingers are... It, this guy is definitely more dangerous because he can throw out explosives. Yeah, you need to get away from this big guy.
Dude, Brooke is just a murder machine. No! Ow. I don't think it's gonna... If I lightning bolt you, it's not gonna hit anybody else, right? Or I could mend your armor, but how much is that going to give me? It, it's only going to give him three, right? That'll put him at the five. That's not really a good enough amount, I don't think. But he's going to just keep clobbering Rook. I could zap you. But I could also zap you. Fuck it, I'm gonna do it. Uh, excuse me? Your special is... Let's see. It's not really good enough in this case. Um, actually, you could hit him and do some pretty significant damage. Well, I mean, fairly significant. It's going to take him down by a bunch. No, he can only do two damage to Rook if he wants. Yeah, Rook is hurting, but like... Yeah. Alright, if I can, I should murder you, but I don't think I can. And you also didn't go where I wanted, you big fat jerkbag. Actually, wait, can you pop this right in his space? No, you can't. Okay. I figured it was... Nope. I figured it was worth a look. Actually, you know what? Do it. Because that way he has to use uh, uh, Stank if he wants to get through. Well, not anymore. Okay. Um, fuck it, dude. Murder him. Get you some promoting goodness. Owie. I don't know if our archers are in range, but I guess we'll see. I guess not. Uh, <laughs> oops. Run up. Smack this man. With your stick. I'm wondering how um, the game determines who gets... Uh, like, how, how how long you're injured for. That may be a mechanic that I try to find without getting, like, spoilers for the game. But so you'd swear the fighting is getting more vicious and dangerous. Again, uh, you let the next line of Varl push into battle when you don't dare to risk it anymore. Come back tomorrow if you're looking for more, says Fasolt. You sleep poorly. Uh, Ivan's suggestion to collapse the bridge repeating in your mind. Ah, oh, fuck. Alright, we're gonna blow up the bridge, I think, in the next episode. Yep, but for now, I hope you all did enjoy this one, and if you did, you want to do, that is me for me to towards BLT. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will catch you all next time. Bye-bye, folks.